Hi everyone, I think I've got that right. So this is a short video because in the last week, three people have asked me if mental illness or diagnoses of mental illness or labels are a good or bad thing when it comes to the potential recovery from some sort of mental health challenge, if you like. And so I thought I'd just do a video on it because it's, it's sort of talked about in some circles, but also not really in others. I would say initially that a diagnosis of a mental illness is not good or bad per se. It's more of a question as to whether it's helpful and to at least understand the subjective nature of mental health diagnosis or mental illness diagnosis, I should say, because I think in, in psychology and with a, a lot of great awareness campaigns to promoting awareness of mental health issues, there's this tendency to try and align a mental health illness to a physical illness like heart disease, just to give it more credibility, for want of a better word, so that people take it seriously, which of course, that makes sense, right? You don't want someone suffering from depression or anxiety and then no one taking it seriously. So the symptoms are real, the suffering is absolutely real. If you've got a mental health challenge, um, you might have an experience of anxiety or depression. The problem is you can't actually go into a doctor or a psychiatrist, even a psychologist perhaps, and do a test. So people might ask you a number of questions, you've got to describe your symptoms, and then someone at some point will say, oh yes, you've got depression, you've got bipolar, you've got this diagnosis. And it's subjective because human beings are by nature subjective. What you say on one day may be different to another. What one psychiatrist might say might be different to another. They might use the DSM-5, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, which has the list of all mental health diagnoses, which changes over time, by the way, and there's a lot in there now. So that can always be a problem too. But essentially, they can. a lot of the research that I've looked at suggests that they can actually be useful in the short term in that they help people feel normal, feel heard. They can kind of locate what they're feeling in some point in time, knowing that others experience the same. The problem is, if you then attach to this label as though it's a fixed thing that can't be changed, it's a fixed condition or I'm wired that way, the longer term outcomes in terms of recovery can be quite poor because we then think it's something I have to manage. It's not something I can change. So to my mind, they can actually, at least the way they're used, can actually be really unhelpful. So we've just got to be a little bit, you know, careful about it or conscious of it in terms of, you know, what does this mean to me? And I guess I encourage people to really start to understand their symptoms, how they feel, what how their thought patterns, behaviours and feelings impact their daily life. Because if you can start and then perhaps start to understand how that's changed over time, because if you can start, start to trace back in terms of the environmental or social factors that start to influence how we feel, diagnosis can then become feel less relevant. Um, it's a big topic, so that was just a starting point. So I hope it at least gives you some sense of well, at least my perspective on it, if that helps you. If you have any questions, um, I can do a couple of other, other videos on this, you know, in, from different angles as it's not something we can cover off quickly in one go. Okay, have a great day.